Nice dig by Gooch. Bree Wilson says I can do it too. And how about this point? And here is Lily Simons to put it away. Loberg, Cannon, nice dig on the back end. Loberg trying to do it herself, turned away, but the Jags still in control. Did that go long? No, it's in. Excellent spot. Erica Spankus yesterday before falling in four. There's a block by Aubriana Cannon along the near side, one on one. One set yesterday, Dutchtown High School as Gooch gets the kill along the near side. It's 1916, South Alabama. But, um, excited to watch them continue to grow. Moore dug out by Wilson. Here comes Gooch, and she gets, gets another kill. Sarah Gooch, her fifth of the day, her second in three points, and it's 21. Oh, yeah. Kenzie Moore, nice dig by Bree Wilson to keep it alive. That one goes off the ceiling tiles, and that's a big point for South Alabama. I have double-digit kills. Serve off the net, Loberg, Cannon, kill. How many times have we said that today? I mean, at least 12 for Cannon. 16. <laughs> There's Loberg. The battle at the net. Good job by McNeese to keep it alive. How about the block by That's Anna Loberg? Job. That's a good effort by number nine. That so entire thank you so much <laughs> for doing that. For saving the mistake. Yes. Simons with the touch. Oh, I thought that might get just enough, but Osgood kept it alive. Gooch has another kill. That's double digits for Sarah Gooch, her 10th. Jag six points away from the victory. Loberg, Lily Simons dug out by Osgood. Free Wilson with the dig. There's Loberg. O'Gorman. How about this rally? Loberg, O'Gorman again, and it's in. Meredith O'Gorman. Chance to make it 33 and four right here. And there you go. Service ace will do it. And South Alabama has swept McNeese 25-22, 25-19, and 25-19 as well. I thought we played great defense. I thought that was pretty lights out. Aubriana Cannon had a tremendous game. Sarah Gooch as well. Um, a lot of players contributed on that one. I, I loved our serve receive there. I thought Erica Spankis as a, as a, a youngster, uh, a redshirt sophomore coming in and, and starting and having that role, I thought she, she killed it. So um, I'm really proud of my group, really proud of how they bounced back. We threw some stuff at them this morning that was kind of new for today, but what we thought we'd, we would need for McNeese, and um, they executed pretty well. I was excited about it. You know, kudos to Texas A&M. They came in and played us hard, and um, you know that's that's a SEC, SEC team, and that's what are they? The 35th, 36th in the country last year. So we knew it was going to be tough, and we didn't really feel like we got into rhythm at all. And um, I felt like we were way more aggressive, and they worked harder, especially in service team, of getting us in a rhythm of attack. And you saw that even if we were losing points, we passed it, we set it, we attacked it over and over and over. And so. Um, when that's happening, you don't stop that. You keep it going, and sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But um, I was really proud of my group generating that throughout the match. Hey, you're on the road for a little bit now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just talk about this long stretch you got. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, uh, and we knew this was going to be tough. Um, it's been hard to schedule in the in the country this uh, this last year. So we're having a couple of two match weekends. So um, we're going to head down to Rice and have a couple of matches over there. We'll be on the road. Uh, and have a match in between and then go to the Georgia Tech tournament. So uh, we're a war party right now. We're about to be on the road and see if we can go get some, but uh, it's going to test us mentally and physically and emotionally. Um, I think as a group, we're going to grow from it. I'm excited. Yeah, I think coming off of yesterday, we just had a lot of 
revenge in us and I think we all wanted to go out and just like get a good start going. I think we passed a lot better than yesterday. We protected our servers um, and we got a lot more swings off so we could just take rips and put our hitters up at the net. Um, I think we had really good opportunities today. Uh, personally for you, obviously a very good game. What went well for you? Um, I think that Anna was giving me great balls. Um, we had a really good one-on-one -on -one opportunities so I saw gaps and I just swung in them. I, don't, I think that we as a team passed really well. Um, Anna was throwing the rock really well, so they put us in really good situations, uh, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, so it was uh, a lot more core to work with. Um, and yeah, we just had a, a lot better connection than we did um, this past on Friday. So. Um, you uh, provided a lot of the offensive spark early on and really got, got the offense rolling. Right? Just talk about your mindset coming out. Yeah, I think that we did um, a little bit of a rotation adjustment and I was kind of on the outside a little bit more um, I felt like I was a little bit I'm a little bit more comfortable over, over there um, but I also felt like it was just like I said we passed lights out today my team did a really good job getting the ball getting Anna in the pocket um, and she put got me in really good situations um, even when she wasn't in the pocket she did really really well today so